Hello, this is Dr. Nicholas Martinez. I'd like to demonstrate that TH17 biased Roar Gamma T transgenic mice becomes susceptible to a viral model for multiple sclerosis, or MS. As a viral model, we use Tyler's marine encephalomyelitis virus infection. It's also known as TMEV or just Tyler's virus. Tyler's virus induces inflammatory demyelination and axon degeneration in susceptible SJLJ mice with virus persistence. On the other hand, in resistant C57 black 6 mice, the virus is eradicated and they do not develop disease. There are two components in the pathogenesis, virus persistence and immune-mediated tissue damage. Among the immune cells, we focused on the role of Th17 cells. We used Roar Gamma T transgenic mice, which have increased Th17 immune responses on the normally resistant C57 black 6 background. Our gain-of-function approach is unique since the role of Th17 cells has mainly been examined by loss-of-function approaches, where IL-17-related molecules were decreased using antibody blocking or knockout mice. Here we ask whether increased Th17 responses can render C57 black 6 mice susceptible to Tyler's virus infection. We infected wild-type C57 black 6 mice or transgenic mice with Tyler's virus. As we expected, the wild-type mice on your left had neither demyelination nor virus persistence. The transgenic mice on your right became susceptible to a demyelinating disease. Myelin staining on the top panel shows inflammation and demyelination, while immunohistochemistry against Tyler's virus antigen on the bottom panel shows viral persistence. Viral persistence was also confirmed by real-time PCR. Here, viral RNA was only found in the spinal cords of transgenic mice. When we compared the pathology between transgenic mice and Tyler's virus susceptible SJLJ mice, we found that inflammatory demyelination was comparable between the two strains. But interestingly, axonal damage was minimal in the transgenic mice. Using cytokine ELISA, we found that the transgenic mice had higher IL-17 production on your left and lower interferon gamma production on your right. Here we stimulated spleen cells with Tyler's virus concannabinoid A. The lower interferon gamma production in transgenic mice is reasonable since Th17 cells can suppress Th1 cells. Using flow cytometry on your left, we found that transgenic mice shown in purple bars had significantly more IL-17 producing CD4 positive T cells and reduced interferon gamma producing CD8 positive T cells. Antiviral IgG isotype ELISAs on your right also showed that only Th1-associated IgG2C response was significantly lower in transgenic mice. Additionally, we also found that granzyme B expression was lower in the transgenic mice compared with the wild-type mice. These results suggest that higher Th17 cells suppress Th1 cells, which resulted in suppression of CD8-positive T cells as well as IgG2C class switch. This is our current working hypothesis. In resistant wild-type mice, antiviral Th1 response induces active antiviral CTL response, which leads to viral clearance. In transgenic mice, increased Th17 cells suppress antiviral Th1 and CTL responses, which leads to virus persistence. Increased Th17 cells may also play a pro-inflammatory effector role to induce demyelination. On the other hand, decreased CD8 T cells may explain the suppression of axonal damage in the transgenic mice. Since CD8 T cells have been proposed to induce axonal damage in Tyler's virus infection, if this is the case, increased Th17 cells may play a neuroprotective role by preservation of axons. Here, Th17 cells play three roles in Tyler's virus infection. One, suppression of antiviral immunity. Two, pro-inflammatory effector role. And three, neuroprotection. Thank you.